Hello, we are back with Gunsmith Part 11. This time we're doing the Chris Vector. As you can see, I've got one to turn in here. But what we're going to do is we're going to go and buy a Vector off the flea market. You can't buy these until you've completed a quest with Skip. I can't remember which one it is, but I basically just bought mine off the flea. Yes, they're kind of expensive, but they are there. Don't buy one like this that's got no parts to it and is only 39 durability because if you're under about 70 durability, it won't let you hand it in. Let's go and modify this one on the edit preset menu. Now, the big problem with this one is this rail part. So you can't buy this until mechanic three and it is incredibly expensive on the market. You have to remove the bottom rail. You have to remove the side rail and the other side rail. Then you have to change over the barrel to the six inch barrel. This is on skier three. Once you've done that, then it will open up this, the Mark V modular rail. This is the painful part because you have to be at least level 30 to get this. As you can see right now, there are none on the flea at all. I've seen these go well over 300,000 rubles. But once you actually have him, you can buy it straight away. So it's very, very easy to do once you know. On top of this, we're going to put the skeletonized grip. This one, tactical dynamic skeletonized foregrip. So you put that one on. You can buy this one on the flea market, but it tends to be quite expensive. It is also on Peacekeeper 3 as well once you get there. So once you've got the trader levels, this one's very cheap and very easy. At this point, we're going to put on the 33 round magazine. There's quite a few mags now. So this one is the big stick 33 rounder. This comes from either Mechanic 3 or Skier 3, but they're also on the fleet and they're not that bad. We need to put any sight on of our choosing. I actually chose the EKP. With the EKP, this reduces your ergonomics by two, but the Cobra sight shade increases it by three. So you actually end up with a net of plus one, which will be useful later. In terms of suppressors, I'm doing it very slightly differently this time. I'm going to use the SRD9 because it's got slightly better ergo than the Osprey. You can do it in two different ways, depending on exactly what stock combo you want to use. But basically at this point, you can't hand it in because the vertical recoil is still slightly too high. This needs to be 230. So we need to do something with this vector mount here, this non-folding stock adapter. So we put that on. And some of these extra increases in ergo were so that we can literally just put on the Baskak, this thing. This just comes on skier one and is really cheap. It's like 6k. And this gets us to exactly where we need to be. For some reason I didn't put in the 33 rounder, but now I've got it in. We can see we're exactly at 50 ergo, which is what the quest asked for. And we're under 230. So we're going to build this. I'm going to select my weapon here. And I can't build it, obviously, because it's exactly the same as the weapon that I've actually created. Here it is in the other view, the inspect view. We're going to go and hand this into Mechanic. We'll get on to the next quest, Gunsmith Part 12.